five felony charges filed in the Oakland warehouse fire that took 36 lives. The man who ran the ghost ship and the man who planned an illegal party are now both behind bars. The prosecutor described the ghost ship as a fire trap. She said the night of the fire, one of the exits was blocked. KPIX 5 reporter Emily Turner on the two men being blamed for the disaster and who is not. Emily? The district attorney squarely puts the blame on those two men. However, the owner of that building has no criminal charges posted against them. But the victim's family say this is not the end for them. These are the two men charged with the devastation and deaths of the ghost ship fire. Derek Almena was the master tenant who sublet the ghost ship to artists. Max Harris was the self-described warlord of the building. Both now face 36 counts of involuntary manslaughter, one for each person who lost their life the night of December 2nd. Defendants Almena and Harris knowingly created a fire trap with inadequate means of escape they then filled that area with human beings and are now facing the consequences of their actions. Those consequences could be up to 39 years behind bars, but for at least some of the victims' families, that's still not enough. The owners of this building knew what was going on and they were responsible for what happened here. They failed to prevent it and failed to uh, make sure that the building was safe. Even Harris himself agrees on that matter and said so in an interview we did with him last year. Ultimately, it should fall on, you know, the, the property holder. I mean, they're, they're the ones that gave us a space with messed up electricity, with no sprinkler system, with, uh, you know, no, no means of really addressing any of these grievances in a, a, a way that would solve anything. But the district attorney says her investigation is done. And the only charges are the ones they've filed against these two. Both are currently in jail, arrested this morning. Harris was arrested in Los Angeles and Almina in Lake County. I lead my three children down there every night. Almina told the Today Show back in December he'd rather be trampled by the victim's parents than be held accountable. But it seems he'll have to face the courts first. This is a mass grave. So for the families, can you... I'm only here to say, I'm only here to say one thing, that I am incredibly sorry. Neither one of these men has made it back here to Alameda County yet. However, Almeida Mina was in court today. Here's a picture that was taken just this afternoon. He is the one to the right of your screen in the green and white stripes. You can see he's shackled. That is in Lake County where he has to make his first appearance there before he can make it back here to Alameda County. Now, we did reach out to his attorney. They were not available on camera. However, they did send us a statement that says, quote, this is a miscarriage of justice and that he is being used as a scapegoat in this case, and they plan to fight vigorously in court on his behalf. Liz? Yeah, Emily, you mentioned this a little bit in your story. It is noteworthy that prosecutors are not going after the building's owner. Exactly. In the press conference today, the district attorney says that Almena is the one who is responsible for changing this building from an industrial site to a residential site, that that was not in the lease with the owner at all. And so when he made that change, it was his responsibility, they say, to make sure that there was a fire plan, an escape route, a fire extinguisher, a sprinkler system, et cetera. And because he did not do that, he is culpable for all of those desks, deaths. All right, Emily Turner, thank you. Relatives of the ghost ship victims are also seeking justice in the courts. To date, 18 families have joined a civil suit against PG&E, the building's owner, and a dozen other defendants. The suit claims PG&E knew or should have known about the electrical dangers in the warehouse. The suit also accuses a next-door neighbor of doing unlicensed electrical work on the property. Meanwhile, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf said this about the men charged, saying, quote, for years, Years, they worked hard to escape legal scrutiny and deceive city officials. Because of their callous disregard for human life, they deserve to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law.